Okay, good afternoon. It's been a little while since we've had a Blender challenge, so this afternoon we're going to pick that up. Um, we want to be able to create our, create our own assets, put them into Unity, um, and today we're focusing on how we can do that with simple textures. Um, it's the, been the thing that we've been um, requested to do today. So in Blender, we want to make something that looks like this. Um, so that's what we're going to try and make together. Right, so we need a brand new object. If you're going to be exporting it and putting it into a game engine like Unity, it makes sense to get rid of everything that we've got, including... Um, so it makes sense to get rid of everything on here. So I'm going to press A and X to delete everything. Shift and A, we'll start with a circle. Go straight into edit mode and press F to fill that circle in. I suppose I could have just done a cylinder. does the same kind of thing. E to extrude, fill it up a little bit. And I want to rotate it round, so A, until everything is selected. R, X, about 80 degrees, so 8, 0, enter. And that's going to be our target. So we'll get a texture ready for that first. Um, let's search for um, archery target. Make sure we've got an image. Any of these will be fine. This is a copyright free one from Wikipedia. That sounds good. We'll save it. Um, now, if you're going to be putting it into Unity, it makes sense to make the Unity project first and then save everything that you're going to use inside the Assets folder. I'm not going to go through that in the video. It doesn't really matter where you save it, but that's where I'm saving it. Right, how do we actually make it work on here? Well, first of all, we need to go to the Materials tab. We need a new material. Give it a name. Especially helpful if you go into Unity that's got a name on here, so let's call it Target probably name the model as well. Let's call that target. So this is the actual 3D geometry and this is the texture. We can change the base color which doesn't seem to work at the moment until you go on like the material mode but I don't want everything to be the same color. I want it all to be dependent on that picture that we've just found. So click on the blob next to base color, go image texture and then we need to choose which image texture it is. So let's open find the folder that we saved it into. I think I saved it as that one. And it still doesn't work. Well, it kind of does. It just doesn't know whereabouts in the picture. So to fix that, we need to splat our 2D shape onto our 3D object. And we do that with UV. Um, so let's go into UV editing mode. When you switch to UV editing mode, it automatically goes back to your viewport shading, which is irritating. So I'm going to switch back over here. I had to scroll with my mouse wheel to be able to see that. Um, and then if we try and unwrap with U, it looks like it doesn't work because there isn't a seam. I mean, maybe we can do smart UV project. That might work. Yeah, there we go. But it looks a bit weird. Our 2D shape has not been correctly splatted onto our 3D shape. So how do we fix it? Well, remember the part of the um, screen in Blender that um, your mouse controls is the part that your mouse is over. So I move my mouse over this part, the UV part, as in U is X and V is Y. Why don't they just call it X and Y? Well, because X and Y and Z are already taken in three dimensions. We just want no confusion with two dimensions over here. All right, so press A until everything is selected. Press S and move your mouse until it's all nice and small. I'm just going to use this part of the texture for everything, so everything is white. There we go. But the front of the target, I want to click and select. I want to click and select the front of the target. So press three and then click. So three puts us in face mode. It's better. And then U to unwrap. And then. It's unwrapped over here. That's quite nice. We've got our target. So the rest should be relatively simple now because I'm going to go back into object mode, add in a cube, make the cube quite small, move it over here for now, um, go into edit mode, grab this and move it up so it's going to be like a wooden thingamabob, and then repeat the process. So what was that process? We find a texture. I like searching for a tileable texture. Oop, not a tile table, tile able, which means it will be seamless as you wrap it around. So that you won't see a hard edge when it goes from here over here. Don't like this because it's got a watermark on. That should be fine. Right, 
let's save it here. Nice. Um, and how did we do it? Let's see if we can remember. So it's material mode, add a new material, name the material, I'm going to call it wood, um, change the base color to an image texture, choose which image texture that was, wood tileable, and then we've got to unwrap it. So I'm still in UV editing. I can choose which one I've got. I can U. Oh, do I need to be in edit mode? There we go. Select everything with A. Smart UV project. Well, kind of don't need to. It's already projected reasonably. Then I can go back into modeling mode. Make sure it's in the right um, material mode. And just grab it. Now, I was showing you earlier the quad view, which I find really useful for positioning. That's Control, Alt, and Q. So you can grab stuff and rotate stuff in this quad view. Shift D to duplicate R. And it just makes it a lot easier for working in three-dimensional space. Oops. As long as you've got your mouse over the right part of the screen. It takes a bit of getting used to. But I quite like it. Right, I want all of those to be rotated a little bit like that. So it's parallel with the thingamabob. You know what I mean. Um, then I want to select just one of the wooden things. So Control L to select linked vertices. Shift D. Where's this one going to go? Which way can I rotate it? Let's do it like that. So that should be in the middle. It's not quite. Something like that. There we go. Control Alt and Q again to go back. Um, so if you save this into an assets folder within Unity, it will automatically get picked up in Unity and you can drag it into here and put it into your game. All right, have fun. Today's challenge is to make the best archery target. Um, and we'll see what you can do.